We are here at Tarek and Heather's rooftop deck from Selling Sunset and Flipper Flop's house. So this is a really limited space, but they wanted us to come up with an out of the box design. It's all done, so let's check it out. Which switch do I do? This one? Uh, no, the, the hand. Oh, the hand? Back. And this is the fun part of the job. I get to control the lift. <laughs> and today we're going to explore the start of a journey of bringing this rooftop deck to a total luxury experience. I can't wait to show you what's going to happen. Sometimes when we do these plans, it really is getting into the job site and seeing what can be done. It's waterproof right now, but they want to make sure that there's no leaks whatsoever because, you know, the homeowner had a bad experience with this. We need to mark out the spot first, and then we'll mark out the, the tile going around it. So basically, we're going to start marking this area out right here, this curve. We want to bring that out, we want to end right here in the corner. Do you have your des the design opened up so you can view it? Okay. Got the interior designer on the phone. And she might want changes, so fingers crossed. No more changes. The only thing is under the pergola, he wanted that to be all decked on, like no um, turf. So let me go to battle with him <laughs> because I really, really disagree. Because putting furniture on turf has such a beautiful look to it. Tell him, tell him too. I feel so strong about this that I, I will not do the job if he doesn't do the turf. <laughs> He's gonna fire him. So I can, uh, I can convince Tarek that it's the right move. Okay, so because this is a really small space, obviously materials are so important. You don't want too much and you don't want too little. So one very important material we chose and it's gonna cover this entire wall is this stone. And the reason we chose it is because it's very textured because once we put the light on it, it's really gonna bring out that rough texture. In comparison to everything else is pretty smooth. And this bench right here is actually going to be right in front of the fire table. So we made it, as you can see, the yellow lines just cozy enough so you can feel the warmth, but it doesn't constrict the area. So they're still easy to walk around. These are going to be three light bars. I'm going to stagger them. They're different heights, four and a half feet long. And these are going to have an LED light inside the light bar that's going to give a glow out on that stone. And the skylight is so ugly. So we came up with the idea to wrap this whole entire thing with an epee wood. We're gonna have a tile wood pattern, crisscross, and then we're gonna put some light bars, the same ones on the on the right side that we have. We're gonna put smaller versions, lay them the same direction as the wood. A lot of people think that a lot of the flooring you only can use wood, but it's actually not true. If you have a good, uh, natural looking uh, porcelain tile, you can really mimic that natural feeling of real wood, but have no, no upkeep. So we have two finishes up on this rooftop deck. We're gonna do the tile that we just pointed out, and also this turf. And one important point is, as you can see, everything here is straight lines. So we always try and like to throw in a curve. Fall on the curve. <laughs> so we have this big kind of sweeping area around this spa. And if, if you capture this red line here, this is the footprint of the spa. And that's it. I can't wait to show you the finished product here. It's gonna be insane. This is gonna be cool. All right, you've impressed me. Yes. <laughs> so this rooftop is gonna be on HGTV and Netflix for Tarek and Heather's show um, here in a, soon. So anyways, they wanted something really detailed. So like this whole thing's gonna be uh, deck time. So they said, what can you add details to it? So we're gonna add a light. We're gonna cut a, laser, a light plasma cut it into the stone and add a light in there. So we're sending the slabs over to our friends at the Stone Age Design Center to get these custom light features cut into these slabs. We got the tile in and this looks unfinished because it is. We're gonna add a nice curve going around and cutting this out. We got our turf, we're kind of gonna be putting that in. So nothing to be proud of at the moment, but it's coming to life. And then we just decided today, we're gonna put green on all these walls. So I'm really excited about it. So imagine walking up and seeing the green on all this, so. All right, so we're gonna check on this crane delivery that's gonna deliver the spa all the way to the top of this third story rooftop deck. All right, so we just got delivery of the spa and I'm so excited. This is definitely not the finished look. 
We're gonna be wrapping Dekton material over on the side. So I keep mentioning Dekton, and what is it? So our friends at Constantino have done an amazing job of allowing these products that have so much versatility. So instead of porcelain tile, these are porcelain slabs. If you have a project and you wanna have a stone feeling, but you can't use marble or other stones that may stain, this is definitely a great option to consider. We'll be wrapping Dekton material over on the side and the top and make this entire thing look like it's actually built out of stone. And look, check out this spot, by the way. All stainless steel. This is something that you just typically don't see. We got this in progress. We got our steps, uh, all the tile, wood tile, getting the ground in right now. So being able to walk up, get this view, I'm getting excited. Right here it is, this last phase before it's finished. Got the bar, we got just added this by the way, isn't this a cool feature? Having the whitewashed stone, look at this. This is the framework that's gonna have the floating fire pit, the rough seating bench all lit up. All this is gonna be a, a planter wall, so it's all coming to life. Having that now added. Okay, let's check this out. It's right here, right here, yes! Look at this. This was just an uh, ugly steel facade before. Oh, this looks, look at these corners where the Look how thick this, this slab is. This is Dekton, by the way. Oh my word, I'm, I'm blown away. These are two separate pieces bound together. See that knife edge there? That 45 is allows all these joints to come to life and make it feel like it's solid. So these are two separate pieces bound together. This is really like this crazy cool light tree. It's gonna transform the space. And this thing is freaking heavy. So if you've watched any of our other videos, this is very typical. Well, this is the thing, you know, Justin's a very busy dad. He doesn't have the opportunity to go to the gym. So I'm just trying to, you know, give him the <laughs> chance right. to catch up. I work out regularly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. See, what you don't know is that Justin actually takes yeah. it for about five seconds for the camera, complains about how hard it is, and then I pull it the rest of the way. Oh, please. Now I know what Nate feels like. All right, this is how we're getting to the top roof deck right here. <laughs> No stairs, scissor lift. Oh my goodness, that's like, it's making it harder to be. There we go. Started from the bottom, now we're on a lift. We didn't really think this through. So what I'll do is I'll just try to pull it up. No. Well, okay, let's think about it really quick, Justin. No, Justin, but like literally there's like three stories high. Made it. All right, so we're here today for a side visit. Honestly, I can't recognize the place. Yeah, so, so much has changed. So this is a light tree, and these all so have- So and pretty. And this is what turns on, along with the flowers. We're gonna install this amazing million lighted tree. Today, the point is to really get this out of the box. It's been a long time since we've installed one of these. And to understand how the base is gonna be mounted to the bottom and make it secure. This is actually a high wind area, believe it or not. There's four main branches. We need to identify those, put those on. After that's done, then we're able to put all the branches in. Big steps been done. All the huge branches are in. Now we're gonna take all these flat looking branches, start plugging these in, and then we get to do the really kind of creative part, which I love, just bending the branches. So check this out. We're gonna block these in, mold them to look like a tree. These actually bend like this. I'm doing one now just for, for camera's sake, but we're gonna wait until all of this ends so we can then bend them to really the natural. Oh, Yep, I'm pretty sure I my pants. Uh, yep, yep, yep. It's not bad. I have an extra pair of jeans. It's not that bad. So no shooting from the behind today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wood template, but this is all gonna be stone, a solid slab. It's gonna be laser cut, oh, I'm sorry, water jetted out. And this is now gonna be a frame right here. And so you're gonna have like this kind of really cool uh, backlit stone uh, walking up to see. I mean, it's really spectacular. Details matter. You can do a small space. That's why I'm excited for you to see this because you don't think a small space can come to life like we're doing it.
right, coming up here, you have to check this out. This is what we've been working so hard to see finished and it's done. And I wanna start with this. This is a beautiful, beautiful spa. And what makes it so custom is that it was wrapped in a decton material. And this whole thing, when you look around, it's all stone. And it really creates the effect that it has a very high-end luxury feel. And not only that, we use a secondary decton piece with a different color and create these grooves in here, have these water jetted in. This is such a cool feature. This whole light feature is something that's so custom I get so excited about because it shows you that material doesn't have to be so boring. You can have fun with it. So you know at Foxterra, we love to play with elevations. We're already on a rooftop, but we need to go a little bit higher. So we have this one single step up just to break up the space and really make a clear cut. Okay, this is a separate area from the other living area. So let's show them the six ways we use Decton material. Six ways on a 500 square feet. I think it's like 500 square feet. Two different colors used for a fire pit. Fire pit, one. Second, flooring tile. Veining goes all the way through. Look at this, all book matched. And that really is something you can only do when you have slabs to work with, but the deck time can also be tile, which is insane. That's number two. This is a really natural texture. I mean, I'm touching and I honestly cannot feel the difference between this and natural stone. Number, we're on number four. This whole spa, you gotta shake it from all the different angles. This whole entire spa feels like it's crafted out of stone. This is a stainless steel spa that got wrapped with Decton. And look at it, it's monolithic, there's no lines, there's no grout joints, ultra durable, it can be outside, it can literally be hit with the sun 24 seven, have no issues, which what? is what we love about it. And I just wanna point out, like Justin said, this is a prefab spa, but we did not want it to look because we cannot build on the spot. So with Decton, we're able to give it that custom look and it looks like everything has been custom created. Exactly. Okay, number five, planter. We literally made a planter, a custom made planter out of this material. And you can't see it that well now, but I alluded to it earlier, there's a light inside that illuminates all these lines in here and it creates this artistic feature that you're walking and it's up and seeing. Number six. A whole entire wall can be wrapped in this. But this being number six is the set, uh, last way we use Decton in this yard. You remember when we were working and trying to figure out the curves of the tile? So simple, just of adding that curve right there. Yeah. It takes away from the fact that this is truly a really tiny space, so. This tree looks insane, doesn't it? It's all in. You gotta see the footage tonight. It, it transformed this whole space and it reflects on the spa. Check out this retractable convertible roof. Well, what's cool about it is that there's lights around the perimeter and you can fully open it like we're doing right now. Sometimes they're permanently uh, fixed and you just don't get that open vastness. As the sun goes down, it's gonna get cooler and I just feel like the space just doubled. It just did. by opening it up. It did. Here with Tarek here. All right, Tarek. so Heather and I officially have the dopest rooftop in Newport Beach. I think you do, for sure. Man, look at the light, how it reflects on it too. I just realized that, so. Tarek, thanks for letting me work with you guys. This has been so fun for me to do. Yeah, it came out rad. I mean, you guys take a look around and honestly, best rooftop you're ever gonna see. <laughs> Thank you. Tark and Heather, thanks so much for letting us design this for you. We can't wait for our next design challenge. 500 square feet got totally transformed. So thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And please, in the comments, let us know what is your favorite feature of this entire yard. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because you do not want to miss our next one.